in this video we will study the energy degeneracy of the three-dimensional particle in the box uh, in a three-dimensional box the total wave function of the particle the psi of x y and z is a product of the wave function of the particle in the x direction y direction and z direction assuming the dimension of the box is a by b by c and nx, ny, nz are the translational quantum numbers in the x, y, and z direction. nx, ny, and nz must be positive integers. If we apply the total energy operator or the Hamiltonian operator to the wave function, we will be able to obtain the expression of the total energy. Because the potential energy is zero inside the box, we simply apply the kinetic energy operator here to this side. And remember, the motion and position of the particle in the x direction is independent of those in the y direction or z direction. And then the total energy is simply the sum of the energy in the x direction, y direction, and z direction. When x equals b equals c, that means a particle is confined in a cubic box, we observe energy degeneracy. The total energy now becomes simply nx squared plus ny squared plus nz squared times h squared over 8ma squared because uh, b equals a, c equals a. And then the lowest possible energy level has a degeneracy of 1. It's because only if nx equals ny equals nz equals 1, uh, we obtain the lowest possible energy. And this is 3h squared over 8ma squared because 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared over here is 3. Uh, the second energy level has a degeneracy of 3. It's because you may have this particle in the ground state in the x direction and y direction, but the first excited state in the z direction. Also, we may have the particle in the first excited state in the y direction or x direction. The resulting total energy is 6 times h squared over 8ma squared because over here you have 4 plus 1 plus 1. The third energy level has a degeneracy of 3. Again, you have three quantum numbers uh, to be 1 to 2 or 2 to 1 or 2 1 2. The resulting total energy is 9. Again, this 3 uh, give you uh, three different wave functions, but uh, their total energy is the same. The fourth energy level also has a degeneracy of 3. This time you have the three quantum numbers uh, to be 113, 131, or 311. Uh, and then you square the three quantum numbers and sum it up, you get 11 times h squared over 8 ma squared. The fifth energy level has a degeneracy of 1 when nx equals ny equals nz equals 2. And then we have a total energy of 12 h squared over 8 ma squared.